Welcome to ClickShare.com. Today we will see how to remove null values by using mapping load and map using statement. You will be happy to know that ClickView handles nulls in three valued logic. For those who are coming from SQL Server background, nulls are handled in the same way as SQL Server database engine. If you need deep understanding about how nulls work within ClickView, then I would strongly recommend you to read Hendrik's white paper on ClickView community. There's a fantastic document uh, about nulls and how you can handle them. However, in this topic, I will not talk about n how nulls work within ClickView, but I will show you how to remove null values in your data model. I'm assuming that most of you know what mapping load is. So I will be using mapping load and map using statements. So let's get started. So I'll go to script editor and I've already created a connection to SQL Server. So I'll fetch a table. So I'll click on select. It'll take a few seconds and uh, let's get customers and let's probably and let's get uh, first name, last name, so I'm holding the control key, last name and uh, probably customer key. Yeah, this should be enough for now. And click on OK. And let me go ahead and call this table customers and reload it. OK, and I'll quickly create a table box. Oops, sorry. Table box. Sometimes I get blind. Okay, and let's add them. So we have full information here, but if you see, we have some null values. So these values, these null values are coming from your database. So let's say that we wanted to remove them or tag them as unknown because you can never select nulls. So Go ahead and select nulls, nothing happens. If you group them and tag them together, it's easy to make selections. So let's go ahead and do that. Let me go to script editor again. Okay, here I'll create a table very quickly. So I'll call load, I'll give a name to the table, map underscore nulls. Okay, and I'll use mapping load, like I said. Mapping load and uh, I'll use null function, it returns null, and then I will use uh, da, 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 da. let's go ahead and use unknown. Let's use unknown, and auto generate one. Okay. And now we will say map first name, last name, and then using map, oops, nulls. Okay, save the script, reload again. Gone okay, let's see if it worked. There we go. Now you can select unknown, it works. So, this is a simple method. However, I wanted to take this a step further. Let's load something from Excel and let's see how it behaves when we're using the map using with the mapping load statements. So, let me go ahead and comment this. Okay, I'll select employees and select embedded files and you see there's a null a missing value here and click on finish. Now I have last name, I have the same fields, so I don't have to change anything here. I'll go ahead and reload this. This did not change. To overcome the problem, I can use length of this is equals to zero, then null. If not, 
then get the last name. So I have to pick add if statement, sorry. And I'm calling going to call this last name. Save and reload again. There we go. So it picked up the null value now. So it's tagging it with null and then uh, we are using the mapping load with map using statement which converts null value to unknown value. Let's take this a step further and then let's join two tables and see how it behaves when how null values behave when we are joining two tables. So I'll go ahead and select new employees. So I have set of employees here and then I'll call this finish. Let me call this old old EMP and doesn't matter I don't have to call anything here because I'm going to use the left join left join okay so I'm joining this table and this table and the join key is employee key as you see that's the only common field as you know click view joins on the common key I'm using a left join and then joining this is my left table and then this is my right table and then my join key is the employee key. However, I just need the department field and I don't need these two fields. So I'll remove them and go ahead and save the script, reload it again. Okay, now I'll come and add the department field here. The department field value is only available for these three employees, but it's not available for these other employees. And these are null values, so you can't select them. You must be thinking that we missed the department. That's why I did not tag them. Okay, sounds like it's a logical thing. Okay, so I have department here and then uh, I'll also use double quotes just in case and save them, reload it again. Nothing changed after that. I'm sure you must be thinking that this is surprising behavior. Not really, I'll explain you what, what's happening here is it's generating this mapping table which is like a temporary table and then we are using the map using statement uh, and then tagging the null values with unknown values which is fine and then we are using uh, uh, two tables and joining them so the null values which are here are coming from your left join that's the reason why and as you see click view executes the script from left to right top to bottom so it, it's trying to find the null values but the null values are not even available in the department field before the join so to overcome this problem what you can do is you can do a resident load load star resident I'll call this table old employee I'll just call this employee table and then of course we have to use no concatenate because we the field names are same and we don't want ClickView to concatenate them and save it reload again but we have some more null values uh, I know that the reason being we did not drop the old table so drop table old EMP we don't need that so it's fetching the data from that table save it reload it now there we go now you can see how we are using the map mapping load along with the map using statements to get rid of null values so it's very powerful technique but you need to understand where to use them and uh, let me just go back also and mention that you can also use wildcards here so you can call you can you can i can use instead of specifying the field names i can use a star and just do a reload it has the same effect however it is good practice to hard code the field names instead of depending upon the wildcard characters so this is a simple tutorial on how to get rid of nulls i hope this was helpful thank you for watching have a good day